Today, I'm gonna open up some Walmart value packs and then I'm gonna ramble on a little bit more about the comic book collecting hobby. Hey YouTube, it's Matt here, and like I said, I have some Walmart value packs that I got the other day. I also want to talk more about collecting comic books. Now, this channel has always been about my personal journey through the hobby. I don't pretend to know everything about collecting comics. I don't pretend to be an expert on anything. I just know that I know what I like, and I like to talk a little bit about comic books, okay? Some of you guys know I have certain characters I like, Spider-Man in the background, I I love the X-Men. I'm sure you heard that I kind of like Conan too, so yeah, we'll probably talk a little bit about that in this video, but I just went to Walmart, and I've bought Walmart packs in the past. Uh, I've ha actually, Sully Two Kings had AOK'd me quite a few over the years really appreciate it and sometimes you find some really cool books in here and i'm just curious to see what's in here um i have got some of these books that i sent off to cgc from marvel value packs that have come back a 9.8 of course i pressed them before i sent them off but you never know what you're gonna get so i took my time and did a very you know thorough job of opening them up so i don't damage them because I just don't know what's going to be in here, okay? Now, this is uh, War of the Bounty Hunters, which is such a fabulous story. Now, guys, I do not know how to spell or pronounce this name. It's a uh, Bosch, Bosch, I don't know. I haven't read this book yet, but it looks like Princess Leia whenever she was going to Jabba the Hutt's palace. So, I'm going to have to check this book out. Ooh, an Uncanny X-Men. This is a thick book, actually. Uncanny X-Men Declassified, number part one, second printing. Now, I'm not sure when this came out. Let's look and see. March 2019. I was going to say, this book has been out for a while. But I kind of like this. Yeah, a little variant cover on it. Ooh. And here is another awesome series. Now, I have collected a whole run of this non-stop Spider-Man. I do not have all the variant covers, but I have a bunch of them. And this looks to be the A cover for issue number four. Kind of like non-stop Spider-Man. Now, speaking of Spider-Man, this is the amazing Spider-Man number 79 on the front cover. So let's see what's in the back. And again, I'm going to take my time so that I don't ding up any corners or... Or damage them because sometimes you can get a really nice book in these Walmart packs. Okay, I saw a lot of people were getting the one in 50 uh, second print variant of ASM 55, which is a fabulous Patrick Gleason cover. I saw people were getting those in a Walmart packs and kind of hoping I get one of those. I'm sure I won't, but hey, it would be fun. Now, like I showed you, Craven cover, Amazing Spider Man number 79. Uh, this is a variant cover, so I definitely have this book in the collection. I don't believe I have that cover, so I'm kind of stoked about that. Ooh, this is another book. Believe it or not, the cameraman, Spencer, and I both are collecting this Darth Vader series. We both have four runs. This is Darth Vader number 17. It's a War of the Bounty Hunters tie-in. So, guys, I'm telling you, I'm pretty stoked about this because... There's a lot of books that I actually collect already that I'm getting in this uh, little value pack. Now, this is Dark Hawk number two. I'll be honest with you, I've never read a Dark Hawk book. Remember I told you I don't profess to be an expert on everything? I haven't read every character. I've read quite a bit of them, but I just haven't read all of them. So I'm kind of stoked about this. But I'm a big fan of comic book ads. And I'm kind of digging this back cover, this Citizen's Watch ad. 
I don't know why. I definitely love the ads in them. I love the sea monkeys, and I love the little submarines that you can, you know, they were made out of cardboard back in the 50s and 60s. I really kind of dig that kind of stuff. Um, it makes it interesting, and it's like a portrait in time whenever you see those ads. Now, okay, so I got the Walmart bag open, but I also won a giveaway recently. Now, the Reggie Collects channel, and if you've been following my channel for a long time, you guys know that I enjoy watching Reggie Collects YouTube channel, okay? The guy puts out great content, and he has given some giveaways. One of the giveaways was a comic book room makeover contest that this guy won a few years ago, which inspired me to make sure that I updated my room and kept it up to par, but... What I had won was a Patreon giveaway, and this is a trade paperback edition of Noctera. Now, I believe this covers issues one through five. I'm not sure, but it also has a creator, two creators' signatures right on here, okay? Now, this is on a back. It's not on the actual book itself, or it's on a card, okay? It says image on it. Now, what I like about this this came from my man Milt. Milt had actually given this to Reggie to give away as an A-OK. -okay. So this is kind of like two people that I think are the world of, you know, coming together for this giveaway. So I was kind of stoked about that. Now another great YouTube channel out there is Comic Tom, okay? Now most of the people watching this channel are into comic books. Not everybody, but Comic Tom is a giant in the comic book YouTube community. And he has a monthly mystery box, okay? And he'll put in exclusive covers in there and some random, you know, big books. He also will every now and then put what's called a golden ticket. Now, what this will do is if I send five books to CBCS to be graded, I would have to pay for four of them. The fifth book would be it would be free with this comic tom golden ticket this was given to me by reggie Clex for winning that giveaway which is you know pretty nice giveaway I, I was really uh thankful for that now speaking of reggie Clex, him and doug bratton wrote a book now this is the second cover of the guide uh, to smart comic collecting okay what a great little book this is. Uh, and I love this because this is for new collectors to learn different avenues of the collecting game. But guys, I've been around for a long time. I Hey, this is the third time I'm going to say it. I'm not an expert on comic book collecting. I am an expert on what I like to collect and what I find enjoyable about the hobby. But I don't know everything. I don't pretend to. This book is such a nice guide for even us old guys that have been in the game for a while. And here, this is actually, this book is a second printing. This book is a first printing, you know, homage cover to, wait a second. Right above my finger is the original uh, Jim Stranko cover of Hulk Annual Number 1. This is a nice homage to the guide to smart comic collecting okay so you have reggie right here holding up the word guide okay pretty cool stuff there now honestly one of my favorite things about this hobby is the community okay we talked about reggie we talked about doug talked about milt some really really good people now i also have to talk about some another part of the community stepping up to help out guys you know I collect Conan, or if you don't, if this is the first time ever watching one of my videos, I'm a giant Conan the Barbarian fan. There's a book right there. I gotta figure out where to put my finger. There's another big Conan book right of, you know, above my head over there. But guys, I have a full run of every single Marvel and every single Dark Horse Conan comic book. I don't have all the ablaze. Well, I take it back. I do have all the Ablaze, the Sumerians, which is a Conan book without a doubt. I just don't have every single variant cover to those, but I do with the Marvel. 
I do with the Dark Horse. I have all the variant covers, all the issues. I love keeping a full run of Conan. Like I told you, I'm not an expert on everything, but I know what I like, and I like being able to say I have all the Conans. Well, there's a new series that came out, King Conan. It's actually the second volume. The first volume came out in the early 80s. It was a bi-monthly book put out by Marvel. They were pretty thick, okay? They were double price. Like I said, every other month, it was basically the same thing as a monthly comic book, but loved that series. Some of the best writing in Conan you know, it was done in that King Conan series. Well, they're coming out with a new one. And this is written by Jason Aaron. And there's so many cool covers, okay? Now, the problem was, I couldn't find one of the covers. I was looking high and low for a 1 in 100. It's a John Mishima cover for King Conan number 1. I couldn't find it with my regular LCS, which normally has the variant covers. All of them, okay? I can normally find them there. I couldn't find them. So I was able to find one with the help of some of the community members. But this is the A cover for King Conan number one. And like I said, if you've been following the channel, you know I like Conan, but so far I have a nice little full run here, okay? But I, again, I just love the covers. And guys, I forget who did what cover. I know them, <laughs> just not off the top of my head, all right? Now, this is another one. There was a bunch of covers for King Conan number one. It was kind of hard tracking them all down, to be honest with you. This is one of my favorite, okay? Mr. Garson, uh, King Conan number one. I love the collage that he does. Uh, he's very famous for doing a lot of books, okay, Mr. Garson? But one of my favorite is Amazing Spider-Man number 700. It is done in this collage. He also did a matching cover. And I'm going to put a picture up of Conan the Barbarian number 25, King Conan number 1, which was, uh, they're next to each other as the series goes. They ended uh, Conan the Barbarian at issue number 25, and then they started with King Conan number 1. Now, here is another cover. Now, none of the covers that I've shown you so far are exclusives, meaning 1 in 10, 1 in 25. They were just... A, B, C, or whatever cover it were. Now, this cover is a 1 in 25, okay? Spectacular cover right there. I love the art. And this is a nice, another nice one. This is a 1 in 50, okay? And this is still issue number one. There was a bunch. Now, the next one I'm going to show you is the 1 in 100 variant cover, okay? I couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, I mentioned it on a Reggie Collects YouTube channel, okay, during a live stream. And if you guys have ever watched Reggie Collects, you guys know about Tina, you know about Squirrel Madness, you know about Mark Andrews, and many others. Well, anyhow, Mark and, and uh, Wayne, Squirrel Madness Comics, they were looking for me. And guys, I want to thank you for helping me out, okay? It was much appreciated. Honestly, I just kind of typed that. Not necessarily saying, hey guys, help me out. It was just, you know, somebody asked, hey, what comic books have you got? And I was just, I was looking for AS, or for King Conan, number one, one in 100. I cannot find it. Well, that just put people on, on uh, the mission. And Tina, okay? Again, if you've been watching, you know about Tina. Or if you've been watching Reggie's channel, you know about Tina. Well, Tina was able to direct me to this book, okay? This is King Conan, number one, okay? This, we found it at Midtown Comics. Well, I say we. She found it at Midtown Comics, and I was able to order it online. Love it, okay? So, Tina, thank you so much. Mark, Wayne, thank you guys, and everyone else who helped try to find that book. Now we're on King Conan number two. Okay, this is the A cover, okay? This is an awesome cover, actually. The artwork on this, Marvel's putting a lot of effort into finding good artists for this title. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't read it yet. This is only a six-issue series. I don't like to read month to month. I like to get a half a dozen or more books all lined up, read them all at once. That way, the story kind of stays current with me, so... I'm going to wait until this series is completed with issue number six before I pick it up and actually read it. So I'm telling you, the art's fantastic. 
Jason Aaron is one of my favorite writers in comic books. I'm sure the story is also going to be fantastic. But here is a little bit of me going a little bit overboard. I ended up buying, buying two copies of this B cover. Not an exclusive, but it's a B cover. And uh, I didn't realize I ended up buying two, but eh, that's all right. I collect Conan. It's not going to hurt me. So here is a 1 in 25 variant for King Conan number two. And then, guys, I don't have the A cover in hand yet. I do have it. It's at my LCS. They just haven't shipped my books yet. Here is the 1 in 25 King Conan. Whoop, there it is, number 3. Okay. So, I have the exclusives so far. King Conan number 4 is going to come out next month. But, remember I told you I have all of the exclusive covers. I have all the variant covers. True statement. Well, Marvel's trying to get me, okay? They're trying to get me to mess up on here. So they come out with a facsimile cover to Conan number one, okay? Came out in October 1970. Such an awesome book. Now, there are reprints. There are uh, true value books or true believer books. They're for a dollar. I have like four copies of that. If I see that in LCS, I always pick that one up. But... I could not pass up on the facsimile because if I don't pick this up, then I don't have all the variant covers. I want to thank everybody for watching, okay? If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. You know, put a comment down below. And guys, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But I want to thank everybody for watching, and you have a great day.